Hello. Welcome to your welcome to your meditation about Lucky Block Race. If you're ready, take a seat with a nice straight back or lie down. And remember, if there's any distractions in my background or in your background, you can easily just remember where you want to put your attention. Okay. If you do have any excess energy to get rid of, you can have a wiggle and let it all out. So you can begin to relax, ready for your meditation. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just close your eyes. Breathing all the way out. Another deep breath, breathing all the way into your stomach. And all the way out. One more time, breathing all the way in. And all the way out. Excellent. And now I want you to focus your attention on all of the little tiny muscles around your eyes. Letting them relax even more. Letting them melt all the tension away. So they're just so relaxed now. When you know you've relaxed your eyes so well, that they're just so comfortable and there they are. I want you to relax all the other muscles in your body just like that. Spreading that feeling of relaxation and letting go. Spreading it first all the way around your face, your head and every muscle there. And as you feel that relaxed feeling spreading and floating and flowing, allow it to spread down to your neck and your shoulders. All the way down to your elbows and your fingertips. And now floating and flowing all the way down to your belly, to your knees and to your toes until it's as if you've relaxed your body so much that it's just like a rag doll. Those muscles don't want to move now and if I did lift up your hand it would just flop all the way back down. Well done. And with your eyes closed, I want you to imagine opening your eyes. And close them. And as you close them, feel a wonderful feeling wrapping around you. Feeling of peace, and calm, and comfort. Then opening your eyes, your imaginary eyes, and just imagining what you might see. And closing those eyes again. And that feeling of peace showers over you. And you calm. And twice as relaxed as before. One more time, breathe, opening those imaginary eyes and closing them again. Fantastic. And now it's time to relax your mind just as you've done with your body. So first begin with imagining the letters of the alphabet. Imagine one letter at a time. Imagine them getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And as they get smaller, you can turn down the colour and the brightness. 
And so now they're becoming darker and darker and darker. And if there is any noise attached to those letters in your mind, you can just turn that volume all the way. Until they've completely faded away altogether. You've done really well. So imagine you're at the beginning of the lucky block race. Let's choose your colour. And there you are on the platform ready to go. And there's the first block. So you have to open the first block and the first block is many other blocks to surround you with the slime blocks. And it's easy to see that this is quite easy to get out of. You know, it's quite fun. And actually, you can get some blocks out of this. So, yeah, that was a good block. So as you climb your way through the slime blocks, you can get out. And continue on your journey. Knowing that what may, ahead, may be ahead is there may be some great blocks for you. And there might be some challenging blocks too. And that's the fun of it. We'll continue until you come to another block. There it is in front of you. you choose your ability to open the block. And oh, it's some lucky armor. That's fantastic. That says something you can use, something that's going to help you. As you walk into the armor, the armor gets put on. And you're really feeling ready. More equipped now, even better than before. Wearing your armor is going to protect you. On you go to another black. And open that block and outburst an amazingly big ogre. And it's huge. But that's okay. You've got to do your best. So get your weapon to get the uh, ogre. And at first, this might seem really difficult, but you just keep going with that. Because it doesn't matter how many times you come back to the yoga, you know you're going to, to do it. You're not just going to try, you're going to beat this. And sometimes it may be that you have to start again and come back to it. That big yoga. And soon enough, it doesn't matter how many times you come back to it. It doesn't matter how many times you have to start again. What matters is that you do come back to it and you do know that you will overcome it. And of course, in the end, it falls down and disappears and you are free to go on your way. Knowing that even if it was difficult, you did it. You can handle difficult things. Not everything happens straight away. Sometimes you have to put more effort in and that's okay. Because you know that whatever's in these blocks, you can't control that. Because we can't control everything. But there is something that you can have the ability to decide over. You always have a choice how you see these things. You can see them as hard and difficult. Or you could see them as an opportunity. An opportunity for you to learn more, have fun, 
and to de develop new skills. As everything happens, is always open for how you want to see it. And that's what you can control. And so you keep walking down to the next block and out pops a wizard. And suddenly your helmet is turned into a pumpkin and everything's going a bit hazy. And you still move on. You still move past this, even if it's difficult. And you find a way to get rid of that pumpkin hat so you can see clearly. Realizing that we can't control what others do. You can decide how you want to behave after. You don't want to give up just because that wizard did that. You can deal with it. You can look after yourself and head carrying on down your path down your adventure, ready for another block. And there it is in the distance, so make your way all the way up to that block. And as you open that block, a wishing well appears. And there's a gold coin on the floor as you pick up that golden coin, it says you've got to throw the coin into the well. That's what you do, stand on the edge of the well. You can see the lovely water down below. Throw the golden coin in and make a wish. And if you're not quick enough, sometimes there's a ghost that comes that's great because you can easily deal with that and be on your way again and there's one last block in the race and you you're nearly there Go and open that last block, that little red block waiting for you. And suddenly you realise it's a block of TNT. So move back, keep yourself safe. Even though now the path in front of you is gone. There's a big hole where that path used to be. There's just nothing. And that's okay. You can decide how you see this. And this is an opportunity for you to get your bridge building skills up to date. For you to get yourself past there. You can, try, you can overcome this challenge just like the others. So get out the blocks one by one, placing them down. And it might be a bridge that goes up or straight across. You can build whatever bridge you like to do. Adding those blocks until you've made a safe path for yourself. And now you can reach the other side safely. You did really well. So make your way to the final wall, flick the switch, and the voice over in the game says, you are the winner. And you put in the stadium where everyone around you cheers. You've done it, you've done your best, but what was most important was that you just kept going and you've enjoyed it. Well done.
take this moment to breathe in that wonderful feeling of just how good it feels knowing that you decide how you want to think about things. Things don't just have to be bad. You could always decide to look at it a different way and see how can it be useful to you. And when you're ready, wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. And open your eyes. Hi. So before you go, you've got an empowering question. And this is something to help to ask yourself during the day. And you can ask it as often as you like. Whenever anything happens or whenever you get a feeling or a thought, you can always be asking yourself, how is this good for me? And this is a really useful question. I really want you to use this. It's going to be good for you. <laughs> how is it going to be good for you? That's up to you. Thank you. Goodbye.